shared the story in the lodge a few times about the spall. One of the stories of the spall is a uh, spall went out for supper one day. And he come down to this uh, creek and he noticed he seen something in the water. He went to go right to reach and grab it, but then it disappeared. And this ball was really uh, taken back by this, and then he started thinking it must be really good medicine. So he's got to get it and take it home. So he went to go reach for it again, <coughs> but then it disappeared as soon as he got close to it. And this ball says, Wow, well, this is really strong medicine. I've got to have this strong medicine. So he kind of went back and went run as fast as he could to dive in to try to get this red apples that was in the water. As soon as he dived in, it disappeared again. And he kept on trying, went back and forth, back and forth, trying to get this apples out of the water, but he wasn't able to get it. And he didn't realize how long he was doing this, and uh, his wife was at home. Wife was you know, just really getting wondering where his where her husband was. He's been gone a long time, so he went out to go and see where he was. And she came to the top of a, a ridge and was looking down and could see her husband going back and forth, jumping in the water, back and forth, back and forth. She was kind of just shaking her head at her husband, wondering what he was doing. <laughs> said, husband, what are you doing down there? Husband looks up at his wife and says, well, I'm trying to get this real powerful medicine in the water, but it keeps on disappearing as soon as I get close to it. <clears throat> and his wife just keeps shaking her head and says, Husband, look above you. There's an apple tree above you. You're chasing a reflection. <laughs> so the story starts out. Mouse. <laughs> but this mouse is 
just laying on her back. Sometimes we make an offering, sometimes I might have tobacco to make an offering. Sometimes, you know, well once, I forgot, <coughs> you know. And for some strange reason, I had, I had this brand new scissors in my back pocket. Brand new. You know, this is the weirdest thing because I never go out harvesting with scissors in my pocket. But that time, I had scissors in my pocket. And when I left, and I thought, oh, and I had no scissors, right? I don't know how I lost them, but I lost my scissors. So that day, that my offering was my scissors. <laughs> <laughs> One of my older cousins saying to me, you know, like you, you sing in a, you know, weird way, not a weird way, but a high-pitched way or something. <laughs> but it sounds good. <laughs> Just keep it up. <laughs> So whenever I come out like this, and I do sing, you know, I sing lots. I sing really, really lots. I sing lots like um, maybe Kaylin and Levi's Uncle Troy. We moved into our brand new house in Troy. His 10th birthday was just like in a couple of days, eh? So he invites all of his friends over, and the house is not finished, right? I mean, the floor is not finished, right? The floors are not finished. The floors are not finished, right? <laughs> Wow. So, can we bring our skateboards and can we bring our rollerblades? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, okay, the skateboards and rollerblades, they're allowed at that time. They're allowed. So, as everybody came in and once, it, once everybody got in, then Troy says, Oh, yeah, um, this is my mom. <laughs> Her name is Della. He says, This is my mom. And every once in a while, she, you know, Burst into song. He said, that, That's okay, it's normal. Just <laughs> carry on. The <laughs> best relation made the top part, right? And what happened was, I must have been outside in the summertime or something, so I needed something for my face, right? So that's how this bottom one came. And this bottom one was part of, part of a cape that I made 23 years ago, and it's kind of coming apart, and I didn't know what to do with it, and I didn't want to throw it away, so. <laughs> I'm recycling it and using it for my <laughs> So, like, you know, maybe I can feel all you guys, or, or maybe that's really, really just me, and I, and I never know it. <laughs> I get full of all the energy like that, and I get so full that it just jumps out like that. One time I, one time I was uh, um, surrounded by Cedar takes care, you know, they make, these programs for the foster kids, right, in Victoria. And they were coming from Victoria and meeting me at Grand Angel Park, so I don't know, maybe she called me, or maybe I had, they were taking a long time anyways, they were just taking a long time, right? They're late. Maybe I had word that they're gonna be half hour late or something like that, so. So I go, um, <coughs> <laughs> so that's really, really a good sign. You got to know that that's a good sign. As long as it keeps keeps going, we're really awesome. We're good, right? I was at Mosa giving a talk one time, and the cedar was going like this. It wouldn't stop, right? And it was being noticed, and everybody was paying attention, paying attention. And then it was a really nice sunny day, and the door was propped open. The door was propped open, right? The door was propped open, and it was a nice sunny day, and it was all cement, and then there was grass down below. And, and I was doing this, and I had the sage was burning away like that, and it was burning like crazy, and I said, that's because you guys all feel so great, and you guys are all focused, and all of your thoughts are being like prayers being carried up and carried up. 
So that's what I always like to think if we're in a positive frame. And then if, if the sage is going, and our prayers are going. And being heard, right? Our prayers are being heard. <coughs> we want to believe. And, and the door is open. And a mouse. <laughs> a mouse runs in the door. <laughs> A mouse runs in the door, comes running along, running along the wall, and looks and kind of sees people and goes running back and tries to get out in the door, so it ends up going down the door and around the door. So the whole class has started to pay attention to the mouse, right? <laughs> as soon as the whole class went like that and looked at the mouse and was following the mouse and laughing at the mouse, right? The sage went out. <laughs> it went out. It didn't take time to go out, it just went out. And it'd been burning like that, and burning like that. <coughs> so I just said, well, the class must be ended now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, usually, well, it's hard to say. I was starting to tell another story just ahead of the mouse story. Does somebody remember where it was at? Surrounded by cedars. Huh? Surrounded by cedars, only half an hour late. Oh, yeah, they're half an hour late. It's right Angel Park. Yeah, Bright Angel Park, right. So there I go at Bright Angel Park. I'm not across the bridge yet. I parked the car. They're going to be late, and there's a road uh, going, a hill going down on the right, right? I've never been down there, right? I've never been down there, so. And we usually go down this way and do a whole thing down there, and the picnic banks, are, picnic stuff is on the left. So I go off onto the road, and it goes downhill, right? Downhill. They're oh, wow. Look at the plantain. Look at the burdock. Look at the cedar. Look at the sword fern. Look <coughs> at the snowberry, right? Everything is. Uh, and then there's other stuff there that I haven't noticed, that I haven't seen. So there's new stuff there. And so I find a new place, right? And then I hear the bus coming. And I'm way down at the bottom, and I'm thinking, oh, Jesus. So I started running uphill, running back and running back. Then maybe when I'm halfway, halfway or something, then <coughs> I'm halfway up the hill. Then I start singing away, and I start singing away. singing and go like that as they're coming off the bus so everybody circles up in a great big circle. Everybody makes a great big circle. And I say, oh, it's <coughs> My name is High Messier and I introduce myself to the land, to the trees. I give thanks for all the help and everything. <laughs> and I do that because I've just run all the way up the hill and I'm so full. So the next person carries on around the whole circle and they all went, 